All right, everybody, welcome back to Drive It Out. My name is Adam, and we are at the 2022 Kansas City International Auto Show in Kansas City, Missouri. Now, right here, I have a car that I am super excited about. This is the new Toyota GR86. Now, what is so special about this car? Now, listen, there's a lot of cars here at the Kansas City International Auto Show. We've done reviews of lots of them, right? There are naturally aspirated cars still, a few of them, they still make those. There are hybrids, there are fully electric cars. There's all ends of the spectrum here, but what is special about this is this is still a lightweight sports car that is not forced, it does not have forced induction. This is a naturally aspirated 2.4 liter four cylinder boxer engine. So that's what you're gonna get in a lightweight sports car. Lightweight sports cars are getting hard to find these days. You basically have this and the Miata without going to something kind of more exotic, right? But as far as an everyday, everyday man's sports car, something you can have and enjoy, it's excellent on the track, it's excellent on the street, you can daily drive it, it's comfortable. You've got the Miata and you've got this, really. Now, what this has over the Miata is it has back seats. So Toyota has really made something special here, and I'm excited that they continue to offer this to us. So let's talk about it real quick. Let's walk around it. Now, again, 2022 GR86. You've got that engine up front, but it's that boxer engine, so it's laying flat, right? That's how you keep uh, weight, keep the center of gravity low, right? You've got that uh, hor horizontally imposed cylinders moving in this engine. 2.4 liters, 228 horsepower. That's a lot from that engine, naturally aspirated. No turbo, no supercharger. You've got 18 inch wheels on this one, okay? Now you've got uh, Michelin Pilot Sports on this as well. I'm loving this red color. You've got the black mirrors. It looks good and just a hot color. Now you can get one of these, you can get it in gray or silver or white. That's fine, more power to you, but I like this car in hot colors. It comes in that really nice blue as well. So I would encourage you, if you're looking at one of these, get it in an awesome color, stand out. It's a fun car, get a fun color if you can. But this is awesome, it's small, right? This is a, this car is about 2,800 pounds. So you're talking about a car that is less than 3,000 pounds. These days, that's very hard to find. So 2,800 pounds, you got a lightweight sports car, it's fun to drive. Look at this awesome classic coupe shape, right? You're kind of looking at it and maybe you're thinking, I don't know where these back seats are that you're talking about, but trust me, they are in there. But this car looks really good in this bright red, I would probably get some wheels with some color, personally, but the black wheels on this are okay. They kind of vibe with the, the black mirror and some of the other black trim, and that's all right. But as we come around, I wanna show you the back because this is really awesome. Now, this has a sister car, right? The GR86 has a sister vehicle, the Subaru BRZ, right? Toyota and Subaru have worked together to make this car, but one thing that you cannot get on the BRZ that you can get here on the GR86 is this huge spoiler. They call it this ducktail spoiler, and I think it looks fantastic, and I think it really adds to the look of the vehicle and sets off the shape on the back of this car. So this ducktail spoiler looks really good, again, in this hot color. Now, you have decent trunk space in here, all right? Now, if you want to take your car to the track, something that they've thought about here is you can fold the back seats down. I'm not doing it here, but you can fold those back seats down and you can fit a whole set of wheels and tires in there, right? Four wheels and tires can fit in there. You can go to the track and you could change out to your track tires there at the track, swap them back out, drive home. If you have to drive far for a track event, they thought about this. They knew people would track this car. Autocross is big for this car and they've really thought about that when they designed it. So, not only do you have a company, props to Toyota and Subaru, for making a vehicle that is still about, still for the driving enthusiast, right? It, they're not only that, but they're encouraging you to take it out and have fun with it, right? And this really looks good in red, I'm loving it. Now I'm noticing for the first time, I didn't notice last time I looked at this car, that you've got kind of this perforated uh, texture here on the paint on this back bumper, and that's gonna be to protect the paint on this car when you're pulling those wheels and tires out, because they know if people are putting wheels and tires here, you know, you drag that on the paint, that's gonna break your heart, right? So they put this perforated spot on the paint here that uh, is gonna kind of protect you from putting imperfections on the car there. So fantastic. I think this car looks great in the back. You've got a cool design, cool taillights. This black line across the back looks awesome. You've got really good looking dual exhaust back here. Remember uh, this car, 
prior, the Toy 86 generation that came before this, you know, you had the Scion FRS, the Subaru BRZ, the Toy 86, you kind of had that triangular light down here in the middle. That was kind of cool, that was kind of unique, but they've taken that away and I think that actually this all looks kind of more streamlined and it, it just kind of goes with the rest of, this car is more about the curves, right? And it looks really, really good. So now I've talked a lot about the outside, let's look at the inside because again, I'm just really stoked about this car. So. This is a color combination I like. Maybe you're not this kind of, maybe you'd rather have like a green with like a tan interior, or that, you know, that, that color combination looks good. Maybe you think you, you like lighter colors inside. I like red on the outside with black interior. That's just a personal preference of mine. I think it ages well when you're buying these later on down the road when you're buying cars used. So this is a spec I really like with the exception of the transmission. This is an automatic. But, so I'm gonna get in here. I tell you what, they've thought about, okay, the egress in here is quite good. And when you get inside, you definitely feel, okay, I'm low slung, I'm down low in this car. It feels good, right? So they've really thought about the driver when designing the interior. And they have the prior generation GR86, it was good but they've made it even better with some touches in here. So they've dressed up the interior. It looks very nice. It, it looks definitely a step above the last generation. Now again, this one is an automatic. I'm so excited that Toyota offers this car in a manual transmission. It's a true enthusiast car. But if you get the automatic, you've got good paddles up here for your, for your shifting, right? But they've done a good job dressing up this interior while still making this car affordable. So again, that is the key for this car, a lightweight sports car that is relatively affordable. You can get into one of these for around $30,000. Now this is a premium. So you've got some of the extra bells and whistles. You've got the bigger screen on your infotainment and all of that but you can get this car not in the premium trim, it will be even less. But again, there's a sister car, Subaru BRZ, they look nice as well. The design is a little bit different, especially on the front fascia. Um, so it's kind of a flavor, choose the flavor that you want. But I tell you what, the fact that they are still making cars for the enthusiasts that are fun to drive, that offer a manual transmission is excellent. Props to you, Toyota, thank you so much. You rewind 10, 15 years ago, who was making the enthusiast cars? You know, for, for everybody, it was Ford. You had the Fiesta ST, you had the Focus ST, you of course could get a Mustang and you went all the way up to supercar, you could get a Ford GT. But I tell you what, Ford isn't offering those enthusiast cars in the United States anymore. All you have is the Mustang. Um, so Toyota, 10 or 15 years ago, you're like, man, I, I, there was no Supra at the time and the GR86 hadn't come back yet and now we have it so now Toyota is offering things twofold you have the Supra and for the more affordable option you have the GR86 which is right here so I am super excited about that plus uh, you get the uh, Toyota warranty you back up this car and you can drive this car and you can enjoy it and you can have comfort in that fact so I really like this car I'm a big fan of the GR86 the, I may have one of these in my future uh, I, I like the car that much, so I'm definitely a big fan. I'm speaking to this car as a fan, but I can't help when I see one, I wanna show it, I wanna put it on video, and I like this one in red. It's really got me. So this has been Drive It Out, guys. You found us on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching this video. We are here at the Kansas City International Auto Show in Kansas City, Missouri, and we are reviewing all kinds of cars in here. Please join us for more of those reviews. I hope you subscribe. You can also find us at driveitout.com on Instagram at drive it out as well. And I am personally on Instagram at naturally aspirated Adam. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video.